Here's a look at the smallest twin-engine manned aircraft on the planet, the Colomban Cricri. This charming vehicle was designed back in the 1970s by a Frenchman named Michael Colomban. As an aeronautical engineer working for the globally renowned Aerospatiale company, Colomban started building the prototype in 1972, and by 1973, the Colomban Cricri took its first flight. The aircraft proved to be a success and has undergone several modifications since then. The model you see here is equipped with a pair of 15 horsepower engines, which power it to a cruising speed of 190 km per hour. Remarkably, when empty, this aircraft weighs only 72 kilograms. In the early 1970s, a unique kit called BD-5, often dubbed the Lego for adults, entered the US market. While children enjoyed their kiddie sets, adults could build a full-size airplane. Despite numerous challenges, including an assembly time of around 3,500 hours, sales surpassed 5,000 units. Perhaps the most unexpected twist in this story involved James Bond. For the film Octopussy, Agent 007 required a compact jet aircraft, and the BD-5J modification with the appropriate engine was a perfect fit. Remarkably, this model held the record for the world's smallest jet aircraft for a quarter of a century. With a length of approximately 4 meters, it could achieve speeds up to 480 kilometers per hour. Moreover, the lightest empty model impressed everyone with its weight of just 162.7 kilograms. Star Bumblebee was designed with one goal in mind to make it into the Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest airplane to ever fly. The Star Bumblebee 2 achieved just that in 1988 clocking an impressive top speed of 305 kilometers per hour. Aviation enthusiasts might be amazed to learn that this speed was reached with a mere 1.68 meter wingspan and 85 horsepower. And where does the name come from? It's a reference to an old legend which states that, according to standard aerodynamics, bumblebees do not have enough wing area to fly. Sadly, after setting the record, the Star Bumblebee 2 was severely damaged. However, the Star Bumblebee 1 is still in great condition and can be found at the Pima Air and Space Museum in the United States. The first batch of Air 1 has already sold out, and pre-registration for the second batch has closed. Your best bet now is to email the manufacturers and join the waitlist while looking through the specs of this popular flying vehicle created by the Israeli team AirVev Limited. Technically speaking, it's an electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, as well as folding wings. Quite impressive. On a full battery, it can fly for 60 minutes. That's not too shabby, considering it cruises at 160 km per hour and seats two. But what about the cost? Some reviews mention a price tag of $150,000. Next up, we have the Nisus Gyroplane from Slovakia. Its official website promises unlimited adventures, a range of 500 kilometers and speeds of up to 195 kilometers per hour. It comes in three versions, Comfort, Sport and Platinum. The Platinum version is the most impressive, featuring a 160 horsepower engine, a leather and alcantara interior, heating and other luxuries. While the price is only available upon request, you'll need at least $166,000 in your bank account. To showcase the Nisus's capabilities, the manufacturers even organized a chase against a Lamborghini.
The Cirrus Vision Jet marks a new chapter in the evolution of business jets. It offers all the comforts customers expect, but in a more compact size. At just 9.4 meters long, this aircraft can carry seven passengers up to 2,361 kilometers quickly and in style. Both the interior and exterior can be customized to your liking. While you're choosing the color scheme, pilots can undergo training that includes simulator sessions. Plus, in case of an emergency, any passenger can land the aircraft with just the touch of a button. The Archaeopteryx is so impressive that it can take off in low wind conditions with a little help from the pilot's feet. This remarkable vehicle was built in Switzerland and is now considered one of the lightest hang gliders in the world. It weighs just 54 kilograms. Its development started in 1998 at the Zurich University of Applied Sciences. Initially a research project, the glider eventually became a commercial success and has traveled the globe from Australia to Canada. Today, it's available in three versions, including one with electric motors. It can reach speeds of up to 130 km per hour and has a range of 500 km in good weather. The top price is around $128,000. Everyone can experience the joy of flying, says Russian company Micron, and they're making it a reality with their ultra-compact helicopters. Their Micron 115 weighs under 115 kilograms. It can reach speeds of up to 101 kilometers per hour and has a range of 100 kilometers. It's a fully-fledged aircraft, and the best part is that the owners won't need a pilot's license, state registration, or an airworthiness certificate. The Micron 115 isn't on the market just yet, but you can join the waitlist. Alternatively, you can purchase their other model, the Micron 3, and put it together yourself. The US company Pivotal has an intriguing vehicle on offer known as Helix. This is a mass-produced electric aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Currently, it's designed as a single-seater, but Pivotal is already exploring more spacious models. The Helix is an ultra-light aircraft, which means no pilot certificates is needed. Its controls are extremely simple, so much so that a couple of weeks of training should be enough to master the two joysticks. So what about its capabilities? The range is 32 kilometers, and it cruises at a speed of 101 kilometers per hour. However, potential buyers should pay close attention to the outside temperature, as the Helix operates within a range of minus 10 to 33 degrees Celsius. Notably, the development of the Helix was supported by Larry Page, co-founder of Google, who is known for his interest in billion-dollar technology opportunities. When it comes to pricing, the Helix starts at $190,000, but be prepared to wait until spring 2025 for delivery. In the Czech Republic, they're quite savvy about compact aircraft. Take the Space KSD-1 Mini Sport, for instance. At first, this aircraft was offered in three variations. Just the blueprints, a kit for assembly, or a fully built and ready-to-fly version. Let's take a look at how the SD-1 model looks now. Technically speaking, it's a low-wing aircraft with a T-tail. It's made with a good amount of wood and carbon fiber components, keeping the maximum takeoff weight down to just 240 kilograms. The aircraft cruises at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour and has a range of up to 900 kilometers. To discover the price, you'll need to submit a form on their website. So, what do you think it might cost?
In 1999, the Japanese company Gen Corporation introduced the Gen H4, a light coaxial helicopter designed for civilian use and easy to assemble at home in just 30 to 40 hours. Thanks to its design, the helicopter can lift only 86 kilograms, but it reaches an altitude of up to 3 kilometers with a top speed of 88 kilometers per hour. Powering this impressive little helicopter are four 10 horsepower motors, ensuring that even if one motor fails, the other three will keep you safely in the air. If you've ever dreamed of owning a personal jet, now is the time, says US based Sonex Aircraft to attract new customers. This company specializes in selling aircraft assembly kits. Their standard model, the Subsonics kit, comes with a hefty price tag of about $137,000, but for that price, you get some impressive performance. The plane cruises at 386 km per hour and has a range of 660 kilometers. Plus, it can handle aerobatics with G-loads ranging from minus 3 to plus 6. Ever thought about putting the power of an airplane into a backpack? That's exactly what the creators of Copterpack set out to do. The propellers didn't quite fit inside, but they found a solution by placing them on the outside. It's worth mentioning that this technological marvel is still in development, and it's unclear if the Australian engineers plan to stop anytime soon. Details about the copter pack are scarce, but we do know that it can be flown in either manual or autopilot mode. The blades span 90 centimeters in diameter and are driven by two rotor motors powered by a pair of batteries. The frame is crafted from carbon fiber, and joysticks are used for control. Among his many masterpieces, Hayao Miyazaki brought us Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. This post-apocalyptic tale captivates not just with its story, but also with its intricately detailed vehicles. The protagonist uses an unusual airplane glider hybrid called the Mover, which now has become a reality thanks to a team from Japan. One of their models, the M02J, is on display and features ailerons, landing gear and a turbojet engine producing 80 kg force of thrust. The pilot is positioned much like in a hang glider suspended in the air and it can cruise at about 80 km per hour. It looks thrilling, if not a bit dangerous. Perhaps that's why the company chose not to release the plans publicly, and the assembled MO2J was sent to an art center in Japan. Let's take a moment to explore the advancements in aviation happening in Poland. The J6 Fregata motor glider, designed by Yaroslav Janowski, is certainly turning some heads. Janowski, who began his career as a model maker, has seen his designs used to construct aircraft all around the world. In fact, his work caught the attention of BAE Systems, one of the world's leading defense manufacturers, when they saw the J6 glider as an airshow. So, let's delve into what makes the J6 so special. This motor glider is renowned for its high aerodynamic quality, thanks in part to the retractable interceptors on its wings. The J6 boasts a top speed of 237 km per hour and a cruising speed of 185 km per hour. Its range is equally impressive, reaching up to 1,600 km. It's no wonder the BAE Systems ended up purchasing 50 drones based on the J6 design.
Dyke Delta is another American DIY project that really stands out with its unique design. It's a monoplane featuring a forward-swept wing that looks like a rhombus. Plus, it doesn't have a horizontal stabilizer. The Dyke Delta JD-2 has room for a pilot and three passengers. Powered by a 180 horsepower engine, the JD-2 can maintain a cruising speed of 273 kilometers per hour and has a range of 1400 kilometers. However, as of 2021, there were only 50 examples of the JD-2, with fewer than half actually ready to fly. Despite this, the aircraft has been involved in flight tests funded by NASA. Remember the story about Helix and Larry Page? Well, the Google co-founder backed another innovative idea, offering not just valuable advice, but also funding. It's no surprise that even the initial prototype showed impressive results. Meet the Flyer an electric aircraft from the American company Kitty Hawk. Like many of its competitors, it can take off and land vertically. The controls are incredibly simple. In tests, people with just a couple of hours of training were able to pilot it. Kitty Hawk's vision is to make flying a part of everyday life. To achieve this, the flyer offers 20 minutes of flight time on a single charge and a cruising speed of about 30 kilometers per hour. We're back in the United States, and once again, we have an airplane that you can assemble with your own hands. The Baker Supercat is an ultralight aircraft featuring detachable wings. When empty, it weighs a mere 147 kilograms and can achieve a cruising speed of 121 kilometers per hour thanks to its 50 horsepower engine. In terms of range, the pilot is limited to trips of up to 225 kilometers. Despite its relatively modest characteristics, the Baker Supercat managed to win the Grand Champion Light Plane Award at the EAA Air Venture Air Show. This means it successfully caught the attention of experts and the public alike, already leaving its mark in aviation history. Augusto Ulderico Sicare is a legend, at least in its home country of Argentina. This remarkable designer is known for creating the CH series of helicopters. The CH-1 was the first helicopter ever developed in South America, and that was just the start. Sicare's designs kept improving. Let's take a closer look at the CH-7 Charlie II. It has a cruising speed of 167 km per hour and can climb to an altitude of 4,785 meters at a rate of 305 meters per minute. Plus, it has enough fuel for three hours of flight time. It's a versatile machine suited for many tasks. The creator of the Pachulka airplane began working on this idea while still in high school. It took five years from the initial concept to the first flight. Remarkably, the Russian inventor not only built the aircraft on his own, but was also planning on selling one each year. When looking at the plane's technical specs, the first thing that stands out is its weight, about 70 kilograms when empty. This gives you an idea of its size. It's 4.2 meters long with a wingspan of 6.3 meters. If you're interested in learning more, you can visit the Forum of the Experimental Aviation Association, where discussions about it have been ongoing for over seven years. 